So after last weekend's uh, 29k cycle, in which I achieved a top speed of uh, 52.6 kilometers an hour, I noticed that the app that I used to track my ride actually only measured 47 kilometers an hour top speed. So I had a difference of about five and a half kilometers an hour. And so this evening I thought I'll download an app on my phone and I'll do a speed comparison. Uh, as you can see here, I wasn't sure if my GoPro was actually recording and the GoPro is mounted to my helmet. Uh, apologies that you have to see my ugly mod in the screen of my phone. Uh, I have a face for radio, as many would say. So once I get my settings double checked, I will take off again. The wheel circumference is set uh, on the bike at uh, 26 inch, which is uh, the actual circumference of the wheels. But because of the fat tires, um, I think that that's not 100% correct. So once, uh, once I start dipping my head down, you'll see uh, the comparison between the display on the bike and what the phone registers. I'm going downhill here. This is a reasonably steep downhill, actually. I'd say it's about five or 6% downhill. As you can see, uh, I'm no longer pedaling here either. And um, at this stage, the speed on the GPS on my phone and on the Speedo is, yeah, there's a bit of a difference there, about 4K an hour. Um, I'm not sure if this app that I downloaded is actually that accurate. Uh, it seemed to be slow catching up, which is maybe quite normal for uh, GPS. As you can see there, it was only one kilometer an hour of a difference. And as I said, it's a fairly steep downhill. I'm doing 45 kilometers an hour there without uh, myself paddling. Uh, you know, the downside of those runs is uh, that you have to go back up the hill. But that's where the 1000 watt motor and the the rear wheel comes in so i'm just uh running down the hill nicely here now um, i've probably started pedaling again here where it levels off the lovely bit of water you see on to the left is uh, known as uh, the broad water it's part of Mulroy bay and uh, i'm just cycling along here every now and then comparing my speed on the display and on the gps um, I would like to call this test a fail, to be honest, because I could never really get the GPS to show a steady speed where my display for the bike was showing a steady speed. So just cruising along here now. It's amazing how quickly, you know, in, uh, in, in pedal assist three or four, you're doing 35, 40 kilometers an hour. Um, there we go. See there, I have a difference of about five kilometers an hour, which I couldn't really explain. So what I'm going to do now shortly is pull over. And I did a little bit of research on the web and I read on the forum that because of the fat tires, the tire circumference is, uh, or really you should set it for, uh, for 29 inch. Um, which is actually what I'm going to do here. It's not that hard to do. Um, yes, of course, you need to stop the bike, get off it, or get off it, but you know, pull over. Uh, you see there, I take the phone off my little uh, quad lock phone holder, uh, double press the plus and minus to get in the menu. Go up to menu six, yeah, so there it is, 26 inch, so I bring that up. 29 by holding the plus button down then to confirm plus and minus at the same time putting my phone back on a little bit fiddly sometimes to get onto the quad lock but uh, once it's on it's on i mean it doesn't have, have, matter what happens to you or your bike um, your phone will stay put in that quad lock i love it i have one on my motorcycle as well so back on the road and just to see what uh, changing it to 29 inch would do and actually um, it only made the difference bigger so i went the wrong direction again i'm not sure if i trust that gps uh, that uh, speed app that i downloaded this evening um, i have a garmin gps based speedo on uh, one of my road bikes so i think next time round 
Kan wel mounted onto the handlebars of my uh, MX-02S. Uh, you can see it here probably now in a minute. You know, 35 on the display, 24 on the GPS. Um, so I had a, a difference of nearly nine or 10 kilometers. Now, maybe there's somebody there that can explain what I did wrong. Uh, feel free to do so in the comments below. Uh, I will take no offense. Uh, you can put it in there whatever you want. Um, I give another couple of hundred, see 29 on my GPS and I think 36 or 37 on the speedo on the bike. It felt more like 29 maybe, I don't know. Um, you know, I've now done, I don't know, about 80 kilometers on the bike. And what I will do next time as well when I go out on a ride with one of my uh, mates um, on their road bikes, maybe just compare speeds during the trip. I didn't do that the last time because I was too busy enjoying the bike and trying out the various level of uh, pedal assist. So I'll be pulling in here now shortly again to change the, not, not yet, but I will change it back to uh, 26 inch in the menu. And uh, as you can see, it was a beautiful evening. All of the hands were cold. So back over to the side of the road. And again, procedure is fairly simple to get into the menu of these bikes. Need to find a different place to put that foam holder as well. Probably flip up my quad lock, bring it over a little bit closer to the actual bike display so I can uh, access my menu buttons. So again, press the plus and the minus for a couple of seconds, takes you into the menu. Uh, the menu six, change you, changing it back to 26. Then I discovered that, you know, doing this all one hand that is maybe not as straightforward as you think it is. Okay, I'll try again. There we go, 26, store it and put the phone back on. As you can see there, I'm in pedal assist four. So that five or 6% uh, downhill that I just had, uh, I'm gonna do uphill now. And I literally just jumped out on the bike in a pair of jeans, and put on a yellow high-vis jacket. Uh, as you can see, no gloves, pair of runners. If I go for a longer ride, I put on my uh, proper cycling gear with the, the padded shorts and everything else. But you can see how quickly you build up speed. Um, very, very powerful bike. Now, this is about a 5 or 6% gradient. On the motor only, I don't think the bike would get me up this hill. So, you know, you will have to put in some effort. I know many other people talk about hills and how the bike goes up hills easily, but... You know what some people call a hill when you live in Donegal we probably call a rise um, but this is a fairly long drag I've ran this lots of times as well and um, there's a proper incline and it's fairly long as well so I'm paddling along pedal assist 5 at that stage but maintaining an easy sort of 29 30 kilometers an hour which is uh, literally unheard of I've, I've done this climb many a time on a mountain bike and on a road bike as well and you really need to put an effort in to get up there at, you know, maybe 15, 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, make sure you're in the right gear. And that's for a fit person. And here's me, nowhere near as fit as I used to be. And with pedal assist five, okay, I'm drawing eight amps, which is as high as it goes. So uh, definitely benefiting from the thousand watt in the rear wheel. But I'm still pedaling away. Um, probably in kind of sort of like the highest gear. I'm using the big sprocket at the front at the moment and 30K an hour, you know, making it up the hill, no problem. Not out of breath by any means. As you can see, I still have four kilometers of a difference roughly between the display on the bike and the GPS. So I will have to do a little bit more research there to see, you know, which is right and which is wrong. Not that I'm awfully worried about it, but it would just be nice because it also means that the total distance you cover on the bike might be slightly off. Um, so if I can get it right, I'll try to get it right and uh, I'll do a bit more experimenting and then uh, come back on here with another video and uh, let you guys know how I get on. So uh, this is the turn off that takes you up to my place. 
and again this is already uphill and if you look a little bit in the distance i know it's always hard to see the gopro gopro never does uh does it any justice if you go uphill but um i actually tried cruise control on the bike as well this evening which is uh, a really nice feature i suppose if you have to cover a long distance but uh here i am i think going into uh or i'm still in pedal assist five this is a steep little rise as you can see i'm slowing down still pedaling away and then we uh, end up back at base where we started so and uh, maybe a, a disappointing unsuccessful uh, test as you can see we had torrential rain and a lot of my driveway ended up uh, on the main road and uh, here we are Back at base, quick spin around the house, and um, yeah, so not sure if you have experience with the MX02S and the display and how accurate it is in, in reading the actual speed you're traveling at and the overall distance covered, let me know. Um, I still really um, enjoy the bike, I'm really happy with it. Uh, every single time I get on it, I'm surprised how solid and well made a bike that it is. So uh, nothing too exciting in this video. Again, any comments down below. Thank you very much. Also, thank you for all the new subscribers and for people taking the time and watching my videos. Uh, there will be many more to come over the next few weeks and months. Uh, hopefully the weather will be a little bit more cooperative. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.